hi Brandon and folks uh, Brandon brought up this question that he saw on the uh, midterm for which he hadn't uh, seen an, an exact example and just paraphrasing uh, the exam from Brandon says find the z-scores for which 80% of the distribution areas lies between minus z and plus z Brandon shows you a good example of how to do that using Excel. I thought I would show you how to do it using StatCrunch as well. Uh, so, you know, those of you who are using StatCrunch can see it. Let me bring up StatCrunch. And as Brandon said, let me bring the problem down again. As Brandon said, the, the key to this is to think about what it's really telling you. It says 80% is between minus Z and plus Z. And since the normal standard normal curve is symmetrical, if 80% is between minus Z and plus Z, that means 10% is to the left of minus Z and 10% of the area is to the right of plus Z. So we need to find the Z's for which the probability, and if you remember on the normal curve, you know, when we solve for a Z, we're given the area under the curve or the probability uh, from negative infinity up to that value. So uh, we can think of it that way. Let's look at StatCrunch. I'm going to go to st uh, Stat. And again, what I did here, I went, because I'm not in my Stat Lab, I went to StatCrunch.com. All of you that have access to my Stat Lab can get into StatCrunch uh, using your my stat lab credentials but we just go to stat calculators normal calculator and we bring up our good old standard normal curve and because we are using z values we just leave the sta the standard normal values of the mean of zero and a standard de deviation of one let's solve for the minus z the lower side first so we leave our less than or equal pointing to the left, the lower side, and we have 10% of the area there. That means, just by clicking on compute, the minus Z is minus 1.282, rounding to three decimal places. And again, don't worry if StatCrunch or Excel gives you a slightly different answer than my Stat Lab. I will check uh, all the quizzes and exams, and generally I find these places and give you credit uh, if your round off is, is the reason that you don't have the, the answer. So that's uh, the lower side, the, the minus Z. And by inspection, you, you know, we know the normal curve is symmetrical. That means the plus Z would be plus 1.282. But let's just check and see. I want to click on the greater than symbol to get us into the right half of the curve. And let's put our... 0.1 in again for the 10% that we want uh, for the upper end and click on compute and we can see that this 10% area above Z gives us again a Z of 1.281. Did I do that right? Yeah, that, that's the same value. Um, so that that's a quick way to do it with with StatCrunch and really you can do it with any values if if they gave you you know 30% on the low side and 10% on the upper side um, just put those values in StatCrunch and click compute so I hope this helps